want to look at formatting a letter using Microsoft Word. Here we have a typical letter. The sender's address, the date, receiver's address, the greeting, subject of the letter, paragraphs, and closing. Here's an example letter that we will be using. And I've already typed the letter, but it is not formatted. First formatting we're going to look at is the address, the date, and the closing. Notice that it is to the right side of the page. So that makes you think that we should use right align. So let's try that. Highlight, home tab, right align. Scroll down to the closing, right align. The only issue with this is that yes, they are to the right side of the page, but I wish that the address and date would be lined up on the left side. Be otherwise, you have this indent. You can see it here with the closing. So instead of right align, I can try something called tabs. I'm going to use a tab to align my sender's address, date, and closing. Now you'll notice there's a ruler to the top of the page. If you're not seeing the ruler, click View Ruler. To the left side of the ruler, you'll see a little L. Point it, and the bubble appears saying left tab. Click on that L, and it will change. I am going to keep clicking until the little L appears again. Now, I have to decide where I want this tab to go on my top ruler. So I'm going to highlight my sender's address and the date. I am seeing the little L, and I'm going to click on the ruler. When I click on the ruler, the little L appears on the ruler. I'm going to click before the first line and press tab on the keyboard. Second line, press tab on the keyboard. Here, the, the text has gone to the right side of the page, but it's aligned to the left. Try the same with the closing. Highlight. I'm seeing my L. I'm clicking L. I'm clicking on the ruler. My L appears. Click before the first line. Press tab on the keyboard. Second line. Press tab on the keyboard third line, press tab on the keyboard. Again, they have moved to the right sided page, but they are lined up. It just looks neater. Now let's look at the subject of the letter. We can see that it's bold, underlined, center aligned, and all of the letters are in capital, in all caps or upper case. So I'm going to highlight the subject for the letter. Home tab bold, underline, center. There's another tool called change case. Click on that and click upper case. The next thing we're going to look at are the paragraphs. I can see that there are three paragraphs in my letter. Each paragraph is, a, is formatted the same. You will see that there is an indent on the first line of every paragraph. 
that's of course called a pulse line indent. The next thing we might notice is that um, both sides of the paragraph on the left and the right are straight. They are lined together. If I look at the one that I typed and did not format, you'll see the left side is straight, but the right side is varied. To get this where both sides are straight, it's called justify a line. So I have to do first line and then and justify. So I'm going to highlight all of the text in my paragraph, paragraphs, home tab, justify. Notice both sides are now straight. For the first line indent, home tab, there's the word paragraph. I'm going to click on a little square and arrow next to the word paragraph, and a window appears. Indentation section, special. I'm going to choose first line, click OK. And now the first line of each paragraph has been indented. Finally, I am going to format all of the text in my letter. You'll notice this letter shows up on a single page, whereas the one that I typed appears on two pages. What's different is the line spacing. That is the space in between the text. as well as the font is Times New Roman and the font size is 12. So I'm going to highlight all of my text by triple clicking in the left margin. I'm going to choose my font and my font size. And now I have to double line space. Again, I'm going back to paragraph and the little square next to the word. You will see the section called spacing. I want before to be zero, after to be zero, and then choose line spacing, double. Click OK. And now my entire letter is on one page. And that's it. But wait, just one thing to, to show you. One more thing to show you. We talked about tabs on the ruler. And if I click on any of those that I use the tab with, you will see the L. If I click on something else that I have not used the L, the tab with, you will not see the L. Now, if I click on the paragraph, the first line of the paragraph, notice my ruler. My ruler has changed for the first line of the paragraph. So I could actually also move this if I wished. Or not. And that's it.